This week on C Plus News Time. Whoa, I'm not Chad. Nah, good, I don't want to be him. He can't even grow a beard. Hey, this is News Time, so let's get to it. This week, we're taking a look at the job functions of producers and showrunners. And no, they don't sit around off screen doing nothing. I mean, yeah, that's technically what Chad's doing right now, but that's besides the point. Showrunners have the difficult task of making sure things go smoothly for their projects, while producers take on a multitude of tasks. How do the, how do the two share similarities? We'll find out only on News Time. Chad, okay, dude, Chad's vigorously telling me to wrap up the intro so he can throw the theme song in to edit. I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do what you tell me, dude. I'm in charge now. I'm the host. And this is going on forever. It's C Plus News Time. Delivering to you the news you didn't know about, the news you didn't care about, and the news you didn't know you cared about. With host, Chad White. Now, here's that host, Chad White. I may not be the host you expected, but I'm definitely the host you want. Welcome back to C Plus News Time. I'm your host, Shantiana Keys. Oh, wait. Chad, Keys isn't here again. Hmm. Ah, my name is Greg Hernandez, and I will be the guest host filling in for the incredible, loyal friend, Shantiana Keys. Ooh. Anyway, this is the comedy news you didn't know about for the week of December 4th, 2017. There are many levels to being a bigwig in Hollywood. Actors are the literal faces of a project, while writers perform their titular functions. Directors lead and help make the show or movie look good, and editors, well, edit. But there are some jobs that no one seems to know the functions of. Producers are very much one of those positions. Now, you may have heard the term. Do you remember the news time off mentioned producer Ron, who totally is not fake and definitely a real person? Look at him, just standing in the corner with his dumb little headset. I may be the guest host, but I sure as heck will take a swing at you, Ron. Watch yourself, dude. Some might say that producers are the backbone of a movie or show. Others may say that there are people who stand on set and chime in once in a while. Some may add that they actually get stuff done. But exactly what stuff? Well, you know, stuff. But producers' post is a little more nuanced than either of those. According to the time writer Richard Corliss, producers used to be the go-to people if you wanted to win an Academy Award. Now, producers like... Saul Zantz and Daryl F. Zanuck took movies like One Flew Over Cuckoo's Nest and All About Eve to the big screen and they won big time. But what do they do exactly? They can find the literary property, raise money, oversee production and post-production, help with marketing, negotiate the world's, negotiate the world's wide rights, and any, of, any number of other functions. For TV, though, they can perform one more very important action, showrunner. Look, I know you hate definitions just as much as the next lady, and I'm just now seeing that Chad wrote the word lady into the script. Chad, is this Key's old script? Did you not write a new script for me, dude? I'm going to clobber this fool. One second. Chad, you told me you write a new script for me, bro. I'm sorry. It was an accident. I just ran out of time, and I just didn't know what to do. This is Key's script. I thought I was going to get a new one. Yeah, I promise. Next time, you'll get your own script. Next time? Next time? This is the only time I'm doing this, Chad. I... Okay, you know what? i got to get back on camera. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, showrunners are very important people. Their jobs are basically to play manager as they shoulder all the responsibility of a show. Showrunners facilitate, facilitate duties and make sure scripts are done in a timely manner. Now, remember your general manager at the popular store franchise you worked at senior year? Showrunners are those people except for TV. Chad, that was the worst analogy I've ever seen, dude. Okay, anyway, uh, so if producers are the bosses... Showrunners are the boss's bosses. That's pretty boss. But producers could technically be showrunners. Now here's the thing. The name is just the title given to the executive producer's creator or a writer. If you follow entertainment news, and since the six of you that watch this show are watching, excluding Shantiana Keys, I'm sure you do, then you'll see shows gain and lose showrunners all the time. They could exit after highly praised season or be fired after sexual harassment allegations. Hashtag Louie. 
He looks like he smelled the worst fart in the world and it figured out it came out from his own butt. High changeover is sadly a common occurrence in the field because of how tough the job can get. You might remember of an, an episode on this very show where Chad spoke about Stephen Colbert having to step down from his show running on The Late Show when CBS found a decent replacement in CBS This Morning. Producer Chris Litched. Now just over a year later, the move has proved fruitful for Colbert as he now leads in the highly sought after late night ratings, a category that hasn't been coveted since Carson was on the air. Now, all of this, it sounds great, but you may be asking yourself, hey Greg, what, what is this about bro? To which I would respond, don't call me bro, bro. Now showrunners are important, but I bet you know, I bet you know a ton of them. You just didn't know they were showrunners too. The Hollywood Reporter put out its annual 50 most powerful showrunners in Hollywood list, and it's filled to the brim with familiar faces. Now there's whew, Aziz Ansari, my favorite Tinder intro line creator, and Alan Yang, the creators of the Netflix hit Master of None. Of course, blackish creator Kenya Barris made the cut, this honor coming off the heels of the stellar girls' trip. Oh. Who could forget Rachel Bloom and Aline Brosh McKenna from the best show on broadcast cable or streaming? Those are Chad's words, not mine. Crazy ex-girlfriend. Now those two are so good at what they do that, that even with being tagged as the lowest rated network show, CW network boss Mark Pedowitz has marked it as his favorite show. Of course, Robert Carlock and Tina Fey make the cut with their domination both on Netflix and the regular old TV. Thanks to Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, and great news, we're always going to be hearing from those two dummies. Jay and Mark Duplass are much in the same vein with their HBO presence thanks to the hilarious animals and odd anthology Room 104. Donald Glover and Adam F. Goldberg may be on different networks, but their shows are true hits with one following a Jewish outcast stuck in the 80s and the other being the Goldbergs. <laughs> Chad, I told you that joke wouldn't do well. Dude. It was funny. Sure. You know Mitch Hurwitz and his overrated cult hit, Arrested Development, which gets millions of views on the big red streamer? Silicon Valley's Mike Judge and Alec Berg have been in the zeitgeist for a while. Especially Judge after his tremendous show, King of the Hill. Now sticking with HBO, there's Prentice Penny and Easter Ray. Oh, the team that made a show that somehow people still aren't talking about. One of the better additions to the list is the team from One Day at a Time, Gloria calderon Kellett and Mike Royce. That show is one of the greatest and well-meaning sitcoms of the past two decades, and Chad is, dude, Chad is urging me off camera to talk, to continue talking about it. Dude, don't tell me what to do, dummy, okay? Nan Chaka Khan is another solid choice with her experience making Fresh Off the Boat, one of ABC's finest and selling two shows to Fox in August. Steve Levitan and Christopher Lloyd are somehow making Modern Family one of the best-rated shows on the Alphabetic Network, too. And finally, Chuck Lore is simply Chuck Lore. I wish I had one of his shows. Other names adorn the list both in comedy and non-comedy like David Mendel, Lee Daniels, Ava DuVernay, Marty Noxon, Ryan Murphy, Jenny Schneider Ehrman, Shonda Rhimes, Mike Schur, and Jill Sh Soloway, among others. Showrunners are important people. While their jobs may not be as cut it and dry as others are, they manage to do difficult work while making sure the show you're binging comes out somewhat decent. Now making a movie or show is hard work. There's more than pointing a camera, editing, and telling people what to do behind the scenes. Scenes have to be lit properly, food needs to be prepared, makeup needs to be done ahead of time. Chad, are you listening to all of that? Yes. Good. Showrunners are emblematic of the hardworking folks they lead, and we should take into account when we blow through their work in two days only to complain about how much it sucked. Now, that's all the news I have for you this week on News Time. Why don't you subscribe and take a look at one of the hundred other dumb videos Chad's made. And you can head to cpluscomedy.com where Chad will probably upload his manifesto. Let's be real. Follow us on Twitter at cpluscomedy. I don't have a Twitter, so you can't follow me. But like us on Facebook. And please listen to the Constitutionals podcast. And... This was fun, but ooh, I don't know how Chad does this every week. Woo! So there's really only three people watching this? You said more. <laughs>